welcome to The Doe Show for Wednesday, September 5th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we've got another really great show for you today. Uh, it was a busy weekend here in Edmonton, as usual, uh, and we had uh, a few people out filming out and about, so uh, yeah. let's get right into it. On Friday night at Evolution Wonder Lounge, the ISCWR, Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose, presented Days for Girls in Zimbabwe. Um, it was hosted by Lady Tenderflake. Lady Tenderflake hosted. Um, we had Andrew Ginny, Poca Want This, Lola mm -hmm. Lamour, Gigi, mm -hmm. Miss Indecisive, and Morgan Fair as performers. You were at the show. What did you think? What went on? Uh, as for what went on, fabulous numbers. Um, I really enjoyed Lola's number. She did an ABBA song. Worried about her tripping on that train off her dress the entire time. I don't know if you saw the video, but it was a long train. And it was. It was. Like, oh my gosh, she kept stepping on it. Girl, I was worried for Lola, but I'm glad Lola did not trip. <laughs> <laughs> um, the show was amazing. We had some fantastic performers in it. Right on. Um, I think $1,700 was raised for the organization, which um, makes um, things for, for girls that they require in they Zimbabwe. Have feminine hygiene yeah, products. Yeah, those were the girls. words I was could not finding. Um, women like myself. <laughs> yes, natural women. Uh, but yeah, I believe they even made there themselves and everything else. So uh, yeah, congratulations to Lady Tenderflake for putting that event on and to the ISCWR for being involved. And as I said, like fantastic job, seventeen hundred dollars yeah, or something. Days for so. girls. So lots of money was raised for Days for Girls, and it was a super fun event. Exactly. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, on Saturday at Have Mercy, it was the very first of. A league Ivy. of her own. Yeah, yeah. Ivy. Ivy League has her own show now at Have Mercy. It's going to be a monthly show, kind of like the Sister Mary ones. Um, and yeah, uh, Miss Indecisive was out filming that for us. Yeah, um, thank you, Miss Indecisive. There was performances by Roselle Christina, uh, Ryder Kuntz, and Vula Callis were the first guests for this one. So uh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I saw in the videos that Sister Mary and a few of her crew were out to support, so that was good to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it lo looked like it was packed and everybody was having fun. Um, Roselle did her intergalactic number and like you couldn't, yeah. like, it just, the place just exploded when she Roselle. started walking through with all the oh lights. Oh my god, you can hear the reaction that the crowd got from yeah. Roselle in that costume. Yeah. Roselle did amazing, of course. And you can just hear the reaction. Actually, the reactions were great for all of us. It was. It was. It was obviously. It's. It's really turning into another great venue for yeah. for our performers. So it really um, is turning into a great venue. Then she was on everybody. Exactly. So that's fantastic. Um, we uh, we hope to make it out to one of those soon. Um, on Sunday, as usual, Evolution Wonder Lounge put on the Sunday Review. Uh, this was a very special episode. It was the Calgary Pride Recovery Show. Hosted by Rob Browatsky. Mm -hmm. um, they brought in a RuPaul queen from season 10, Yohu Hamasaki. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, they had uh, nice some, try. Right? Oh, nice try. They had some uh, amazing uh, opening acts as well from local performers. Mm -hmm. Rizal Christina, Twiggy, and Davina Die For were the ones that were kind of hyped to along beforehand. Yes. But uh, they also, closer to the event, added Dixon Cunts, and I gotta go. Uh, yeah. You were at that one again. What did you think? Oh, they were wonderful to see. Um, Dixon, who is the king in the show, he absolutely um, he killed it. He had he did the Hey Ya yeah. number by Outcast. It's just fun. And I had just been to a wedding on Saturday, and they played that song at the wedding, and it was like, oh my god, when Dixon did Outcast. It really did bring me back, and it was like, oh my god, this is happening again. And it's funny, right? Like, how, how very quickly uh, a song can so become associated with, with a to performer. To a memory. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. A, to a performer. Like, I, you know, like you, you, I've heard Hey Ya yeah, how many times yeah. before I saw Dixon perform it, but mm -hmm. now when I hear that song, I think of Dixon. You now think of Dixon. Right? Right. Anyway, it's, it's cool. Um, there are lots of songs, obviously, that I don't have that connection with because, you know, like so many people have done it and stuff like that. But yeah. When, when someone starts doing it and they've done it once or twice, yeah, it's in there. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually all we have for new videos up on the web. Um, so you should definitely go and check all those out. Um, we have another busy show or another busy weekend coming oh, weekend. up next weekend. Um, oh, what's going on? It's Evolution Wonder Lounge's birthday. Nothing much. Nothing much. Uh, <laughs> Evo turns five this weekend, and uh, they are putting on like 
two weeks worth of entertainment, basically, yeah, right? to celebrate. So, like, it's basically a birthday month. It really is. the celebration events that they have, so, which is a, great. It really is. So, you really need to check out Evolution's uh, page and see all the events that they have coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. But the ones that we are particularly interested in, um, on Saturday, September 8th, Evo turns 5. Lady Bunny returns to the Evo stage, and I we were not able to make it the last time she was out, so That's um, right. we are super excited to be able to uh, hopefully get the chance to meet her. I'm actually working. Yeah, uh, I will be there. Bambi will Bambi be there to film. To film Lady and, Bunny. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm sure I'll get plenty of opportunities to speak to my girl Shishi this weekend, but uh, yeah. Shishi Larie was also here this weekend, so that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, Lady Bunny, as I say, is on Saturday. And like we say, it's, it's always a great time when Shishi's in town. She's so down to earth and yeah. so wonderful. Yeah. Just a nice human. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and she's family, so it's, it's just great to have her home. Um, on Sunday, September 9th, you need to mark this date down because I think it is going to be the best Sunday review ever. I'm putting it out there now. But as far as I'm concerned, the cast that is in this... <gasps> oh, I know what you're talking about. It is. Yeah. It is. I know what you're talking about this is, this is just dumb how good this should be. Um, every single one of the Miss Evolutions is going to be there. Roselle Christina, Twiggy, Lilith Fair, Vanity Fair. And... That, if that wasn't enough. We and. also have every single living... <laughs> uh, winner of Alberta's Next Drag Superstar. Oh my god. <laughs> we have Lilith Fair. We have Divina Die, Die For. For. And Duke, Duke Motherfucking Carson. So, like, you can't beat that uh, lineup for a little So the other two are dead? Is that what you're gonna find <laughs> out? The tiaras are now dead. Uh, uh, I, I, I think their drag careers are, so... <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't, anyway, um, anyway, I, uh, it's going to be a fantastic show, so you definitely, definitely, definitely want to be out this Sunday for that. It's going to be just stupidly good. Uh, um, we also have some other shows at Evolution coming up that you should definitely check out, and again, we may not be actually filming at a lot of them because of rights and all kinds of things, but, mm -hmm. um, Shangela is September 13th and 14th, Jackie Beat and Sherry Vine is October 6th. And Coco Peru is November 17th, so you should definitely check out to see whether there's tickets available for those as well, because they're yeah. going to be incredible shows with drag legends. Get your tickets. Get the tickets now. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, picks of the week. Oh, we're there already? We are. Oh my god, we're at like nine minutes. This is a short episode. It is. All right, I will go first. My pick of the week is I Gotta Go Money. Money. It's good Money. Enough. Um, I, as I've already shared, so it's probably not a huge surprise, but I was a huge fan of Davina Die for Roselle, Christina, and Twiggy with their version of Bang Bang, TNT Girls! Yes. <laughs> Can we just talk about that group number with those three, mm. like, legends in their own right, yeah. doing the Ariana, Nicki Minaj, and Jessie J yeah. number, like... <sighs> We know we know Rizal can bang out can bang out uh, Ariana, so that wasn't a huge surprise. Right, but Twiggy was phenomenal. 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 I mean, she's always Jessie good, Jay. but it was just I'm so used to doing Twiggy, right? right? And it's a different side of her. It was. It was a wonderful side of her, and she banged it the fuck out. And the bang, other one that was it out. bang banged it out. The other one that was again somewhat surprising for me. Again, I know she can move, and I know she can lip sync and everything yeah. else, but yeah. I thought Davina nailed the Nicki Minaj part. Again, I. What do I know? White boy. But as far as I'm concerned, I thought it was fabulous. Like, I I, I thought she absolutely nailed it. So, uh, yeah, it was an easy pick for me this week as far as I was concerned. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Three of my favorites. Yes. Um, A worthy pick of the week, I'd have to say. Thank you. Uh, that's really about it. Uh, so, what you can do is like and share and all those wonderful things to help all your favorites get even more exposure on the webs. That's about it. Well, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.